यूज बिहार का सेंसस पहला क्वेश्चन इट्स अ वेरी स्मॉल न्यूज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वाई कास्ट सेंसस डू वट यू थिंक पहले आप लोग बताइए आई विल टेल डू थिंक वी शुड है तुम सारे जेल जाने वाले <laughs> तुम सब बिगड़ गए हो अंडरस्टैंड दिस यस इट्स अ नीडेड वन ऑफ कोर्स वी अंडरस्टैंड द पॉलिटिक्स इन इंडिया बीजेपी इज अ राइट विंग पार्टी विच प्लेस द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ रिलीजन अदर पार्टीज कांग्रेस एंड पर्टिकुलरली बी एस पी एस पी दे आर सेंटर एंड लेफ्ट पार्टीज दे प्लेस द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ कास्ट द थिंग इज बीजेपी वाई बीजेपी डज नॉट वॉन्ट अ कास्ट सेंसस बिकॉज इफ कास्ट सेंसस हैपन्स then hindus will be divided into caste and in that they will not be vote bjp theek hai this is the biggest problem for bjp other parties knows if there will be a caste census then they will be divided into caste then they will not vote bjp so it's indeed is the part of politics so the politics ko keep aside ab look at the real picture we have reservation in india sc st obc so at the second point aap bataiye do you think reservation should continue or do you think it has empowered really the people it has not empowered so first look at that bihar census se pehle let us look at representation of the uh, reserved categories i know there are a lot of people particularly from general category who pained by this theek hai uh, but find for example i was from general i could not qualify 20 marks i left but if i would be even obc i would have qualified civil service multiple times ठीक है, I had more cut off than that, but I do not resist that and I do not have a grudge over it, because we also enjoyed a luxury period of our time for centuries. ठीक है, fine. So that's a different thing. There is nothing to have a grudge over it. हाँ, logic यही था. General देखिए general के साथ problem क्या है? You may think. I know because you are preparing. You have to prepare your government exam. The real problem is not reservation. The real problem is declining government jobs. If there is abundant government job, then even reservation will not hurt you because you will get something. Kiska? Ha ha. Visa bhi population is higher. Abhi discuss karenge usse hum. But lekin ka? Kam to rehta hai, but logon ko takli hoti hai na cut off se. ठीक है? है? रिजर्वेशन में देखिए मेन प्रॉब्लम क्या है जनरल कैटेगरी को यार आई हैव टू गेट 100 कट ऑफ दैट पर्सन इज हैविंग व्हाटएवर 80 81 व्हाटएवर सो फाइन दैट्स अ जेन्युइन कॉज ऑफ कंसर्न बट लेट्स सी द रियल पिक्चर ऑलवेज रिमेंबर वी विल डिस्कस दैट आल्सो इन अ रिटर्न रिप्लाई बाय डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पर्सनल एंड ट्रेनिंग दिस इज अ डिपार्टमेंट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया व्हिच अल्टीमेटली अपॉइंट्स यू यूपीएससी ओनली रिकमेंड्स यू डीओपीटी अपॉइंट्स यू ठीक है डीओपीटी कम्स डायरेक्टली अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया DOPT in their reply to Rajya Sabha, it means it is an authentic reply. No hair, fair hair there. Out of all the 322 officers holding the post of Joint Secretaries and Secretaries, they are the highest level decision making positions. Only 16, 13, and 39 belong to SC, ST, OBC, a population that has 50% reservation. So even if they have 50% reservation, only 16, 13, and 39 जो भी इसमें कर लेना रिमेनिंग ऑफ देम आर अपर कास्ट व्हाई इज इट सो एंड आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर आल्सो यूपीएससी प्रोवाइड्स ओनली वन थिंग इक्वलिटी ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी इट डज नॉट प्रोवाइड एनीथिंग बियॉन्ड दैट यूपीएससी प्रोवाइड्स यू इक्वलिटी ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी यू विल बी रिक्रूटेड एज पर योर हार्ड वर्क एंड आल्सो योर सोशल सरकमस्टेंसेस दैट इज व्हाट अंबेडकर सेड दैट वी विल डिस्कस हियर व्हाई दिस इशू वी हैव सेम आप किसी भी डिपार्टमेंट में जाएंगे यू विल फाइंड दिस ठीक है जैसे दीज आर फॉर ग्रुप ए पोजीशन देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज ग्रुप ए में देर इज नो रिजर्वेशन इन प्रमोशन ग्रुप ए में देर इज नो रिजर्वेशन इन प्रमोशन द रिजर्वेशन प्रमोशन अंडर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज अवेलेबल ओनली एंड ओनली टू एस सीज एंड एस टी अंडर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन यू हैव रिजर्वेशन टू प्लेसेज रिजर्वेशन एट एंट्री इन विच यू हैव ओबीसी एस सी एस टी नाउ ई डब्ल्यू एस ऑल्सो बट वेन इट यू गेट इन टू जॉब्स द ओनली पीपल हु गेट रिजर्वेशन ड्यूरिंग प्रमोशन that is scs and sts remaining of all the people obc ews no one enjoy any reservation okay that is one of the reason given by government ki because there is no reservation promotion in a class even sc st reservation is not available in group a jobs clear hua sabko under constitution sc st have reservation in promotion but that reservation is available only in d c 
सी एंड बी क्लास पोजीशन इन ग्रुप ए पोजीशन देर इज नो रिजर्वेशन इन प्रमोशन इन यूनियन गवर्नमेंट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट में हैव इट दैट डिपेंड्स अपॉन स्टेट टू स्टेट बट यूनियन में देर इज नो रिजर्वेशन प्रमोशन ग्रुप ए जॉब फर्स्ट थिंग सेकेंड थिंग वी नो एनी वे ओबीसी हैज नो रिजर्वेशन इन प्रमोशन एट ऑल इन ऑल पोजिशन क्लियर दिस मच तो दिस इज वन ऑफ द रीजन चलो फाइन मान लेते हैं गवर्नमेंट इज बायस Let's see what is the situation of academics, professors, which is the highest level uh, job at the level of you can say this uh, uh, universities. The highest position in university is professor. Below this associate, after below this assistant. So professors may out of two thirty, ha, out of three hundred and six vacancies for SC, two thirty four are vacant. Out of 140 vacancy for ST, 107 are vacant. Out of 389 vacancy for OBC, 352 are vacant. Lastly, everything is vacant. Simply stating, in spite of having reservation, they do not have jobs. Particularly SC, ST, OBC, I am talking about. Another things, let's see. A very good university, Indira Gandhi, National Open University. Look at this university has only one professor from SC and zero. तो गवर्नमेंट में ऑल गवर्नमेंट पोजीशन आर बेसिकली हेल्ड बाय अपर कास्ट पर्सन एंड रिमेंबर मेल आल्सो ऐसा नहीं कि वुमेन आल्सो गेट यू ऑलवेज ना एवरी ईयर दीज वुमेन आर टॉप फाइव दे विल दे विल बी मे बी वन ऑफ और टू ऑफ देम विल रीच टू द टॉप एक्सक्लूसिवली नन ऑफ देम विल रीच टू द टॉप द प्रॉब्लम इज वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इन अ बिट सो अकेडमिक्स में रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज ऑल्सो वेरी बैड गवर्नमेंट में वेरी बैड नाउ लेट एस सी द सो कॉल्ड भी बुरा हाल है देखिए 60% ऑफ एस सी एस टी ओबीसी एस सी एंड ओबीसी रिजर्वेशन आर वेकेंट इन आई एम्स एंड कहा गया हमारा हमारे प्यारे आई आई टीज ठीक है प्री आई आई टीज दिस आई आई टीज हैव मोर देन देखिए दे हैव ओनली सिक्स टीचर फ्रॉम एस टी कम्युनिटी नन ऑफ द ट्वेंटी टू आई आई टीज हैव मोर देन सिक्स मतलब ट्वेंटी टू आई आई टीज पुट टूगेदर है मोर देन ओनली सिक्स टीचर्स बिलोंगिंग टू ST community 18 IITs have 10 or less than 10 from SC and 7 IITs have 10 and less than 10 from OBC put together not more than 10% of the entire IITs is SC ST OBC put together a community that enjoys 50% reservation please keep that in mind last a study was conducted by Oxfam India news laundry ab humne we have seen government we have seen academics now comes media what is the problem with media let's understand Four, three out of four, three out of four anchors are upper caste, and seventy percent of the prime time debate shows have an upper caste anchor and panelist. This is the problem. Understand something? Man, a previous, I think you have been in some classes. We have discussed something called opaque state. If you remember, yes, opaque state concept. I told you that how you see the state depends upon the filter between you and the state. this filter is media media filters the information that comes from the state to you depending on that even a unjust state can appear just that's how uk a country which is highly capitalized in which marx predicted a revolution will happen uk never witnessed a revolution ussr which is a semi feudal state and china which was primarily agriculture witnessed a communist revolution a revolution which must take place in advanced capitalist society only and the reason was advanced capitalist societies are opaque state because their media controls narrative and this is the biggest problem why ssc obc do not have good representation and still people believe that they are benefiting from reservation because media is upper caste ab koi bhi institution utha lo i have given three example pick supreme court of india for example you can pick any institution in india whatsoever you will always find the top ranking position will always be held exclusively by upper caste males only ab now comes why this is the problem one is the reason because media controls information academics creates theories why i included media and academics media control information that reach to you and academics creates theories the theory that explains the world लोगों को बताया था रियलिटी इज अ सोशल कंस्ट्रक्ट दैट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द थियरीज एंड हु मेक थियरीज एकेडमिशियन मेक थियरीज एंड बोथ प्लेसेस एकेडमिशियन एंड मीडिया 
there is virtually zero or maybe 10 percent representation of lower caste and that's why their narrative never gets the hold of the life upper caste narrative always get the hold Ki reservation should go because we are having a problem so it means reservation is not working very well clear everyone shall you fine now let us see the rationale baba sahab ambedkar in his book annihilation of caste he argued that a man's power or success depends on three parameters physical inheritance social inheritance and finally own efforts the so-called argument of merit i know merit we always talk about but merit is in what caste you are born in what religion you are born in what country you are born in what uh, family you are born if you are for example you're born into upper for example this uh geo's md who is the geo md mr akash ambani what qualification he has to head geo Except when his father is a money. So maybe you people, maybe any of you are more qualified to become the MD of Geo. You can manage Geo better than his this that person. But only because he has a father who is the money, he can become the MD of Geo. For example, Jay Shah, what qualification he has to become BCCI chief? <laughs> he has the biggest qualification. His father is home minister. And then a lot of people, Jyoti Rao Sindhya, these are all dynasts. Jyotiras India belongs to a particular family. This is Rajasthan, we have royal families. As is Jobi Naman. Their relation is also something. So the thing is, the problem here is, the, the, the argument of merit, na, it's a lie. Most of the time it's a lie. Hard work is real. I'm not denying hard work. Hard work is indeed real. Because Rahul Gandhi is also there, born with a silver spoon. He's unable to root out um, uh, Mr. Modi ji. Or Patani. Maybe Amani is in power, I don't know. So he's unable to root them out also. So as I said, hard work is of course necessary, but only hard work does not determine your pinnacle success. It also will be determined by social inheritance, physical inheritance, and a lot of environmental factors. Malita, you were you had prepared excellent for this exam. You were going for prelims paper, or your accident was there. Don't you? Only accident. So it's not your fault. You prepared for four years, five years. You had a last attempt to give and you were all prepared. Up to gaya paper. Or aap hi gaya. So this is the problem. There are a lot of factors that play. Success is a complex outcome of various factors put together. It is not only about hard work. It's also about a lot of factors. Clear everyone. So please remember this merit argument. And that is why Kistafi Jaffalot has emphasized that caste is alpha and omega of Indian society. According to Kistafi Jaffilot, caste is alpha and omega of Indian society. Now, a theory was published that I have included. This was in some art research paper, I don't know. The trinity of merit. Because some, we live in a society, so-called urban societies. They say merit is everything. And this is a problem, I also believe. If you've seen this Vikas Divikiti, that, uh, kya naam hai? Wala. that person has a very good video. I like that video. In Instagram, I believe. He said, be happy with your kid. If he is talented or she is talented, that person will surely leave you. Because that person will get high success, will go to foreign to study. He will not be present with you most of the time. Even if your kid is average or below average, be happy. That kid will live with you forever. So do not pressurize your kid to be successful. Pressurize them to be hardworking. Success may or may not come. But at least respect. Parents do they Look at where Sharma Ji's ladka is. And where you are. This is a problem. You are unnecessarily pressurizing. Positive is Encourage for hard work, not success. That was he said. His main point was, encourage for hard work. Do not encourage for success. In India, we judge a person by success, not hard work. If you're qualified in UPSC, fine. You are the best person. Check for it. You're drinking a Ganja is drinking a lot. Nobody cares. You are the best person. And then you go to podium and I used to work 14 hours a day. <laughs> Those 14 hours include one pack and also one Ganja. <laughs> but if you are not successful, even if you are studying for 14 hours, nobody cares. They are like, I'm going to die. बिल्कुल निकलता है बिकॉज गांजा और ड्रग करने में कितना टाइम लगता है संडे का ब्रेक ले लिया एक आध पैक मार लिया क्या हो गया ठीक है चलिए एनीवे निकल जाता है सिंसियरिटी इज समथिंग फॉर एग्जांपल यू आर स्टडीइंग 14 आवर्स एंड वेस्टिंग योर टाइम पढ़ा फिर बंद कर दिया पढ़ा बंद कर अ पर्सन हु स्टडी 6 आवर्स देन सम 
करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज दोस्तों से भी मिलता है बातें भी करता है नेक्स्ट पर्सन ऑल्सो सक्सेस सक्सेस वेरीज फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर बैकग्राउंड योर नॉलेज मान लेते यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड प्रिपरेशन इन बैचलर्स तो फॉर थ्री ईयर यू प्रिपेयर फॉर यूपीएससी देन यू कम फॉर यूपीएससी विद इन फर्स्ट अटेम्प यू क्वालिफाई एवरी वन सी फर्स्ट अटेम्प दे डू नॉट सी फोर ईयर ऑफ हार्ड वर्क आई कैन पर्सनली गारंटी नो बडी क्वालिफाइज यूपीएससी मेड एन अटेम्प एवरी वन मेक क्वालिफाइ इन फर्स्ट अटेम्प बट दैट फर्स्ट अटेम्प इंक्लूड एटलीस्ट फोर टू फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन बिफोर एंड आप किसी से भी देख लेना Anyone who qualified at first attempt, ask them for how many years you prepared. They will reply, I started preparation in, for example, bachelor's. It is my first attempt, but this first attempt was followed by at least three to four years of preparation because UPSC is big, not hard. UPSC hard exam नहीं है. UPSC बहुत बड़ा exam है. It has such a big syllabus to cover. ठीक है. Please remember this environmental factor. Now let us discuss quickly the tyranny of merit. A political theorist, a political theorist, Michel J. Sandel. This person. basically talked about this tyranny why merit is always talked about why you do not talk about other things the reason is because we live in liberal democracies and liberal democracies may liberal democracy mein they are promoting this narrative that outcome of merit the so called successful the outcome of merit if you are meritorious you will qualify they are propagating this idea be hard work be meritorious you will qualify any exam ठीक है जैसे आजकल यू हैव ना इंस्टाग्राम एंड ऑल पे इन्फ्लुएंसर यू कैन डू इट यू आर इन यू आर इन बैड यू कैन डू इट जाग जाओ बीमारी कुछ नहीं होती यू आर नॉट इल यू आर जस्ट थिंकिंग यू आर इल भाई आई एम इल ठीक है आई हैव टेकिंग मेडिसिन आई एम नॉट थिंकिंग आई एम इल आई एम लिटरली इल ठीक है बट एनी वे दिस सो कॉल दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम दैट द प्रमोशन ऑफ सक्सेस बेस्ड ऑन मेरिट दैट इज वॉट यू आर यूज what is the biggest problem when you have a society that respect success and that too they believe every success is an outcome of merit they do not believe that success can also be a social lottery for example uh, yeah akash ammani or whatever he is particularly radhika merchant say he got merit <laughs> it pains me a lot but anyway fine <laughs> so he got radhika merchant for only one reason he is a mani sir or what anyway so so sabko samajh mein aaya a society that believes that merit is the only reason for success so they treat every success is merit when you believe merit is success then you believe all success are merit and then it leads to a bigger problem the bigger problem is the successful people believe that they deserve their success when you believe that merit means success so it also becomes success means merit so the people who are successful believe that i am a meritorious person i am above everyone mere se upar koi nahi hai and this is what leads to tyranny of merit and what is the problem the problem is condescending attitude you will find a lot of people i don't know why these people behave like this gandhi is a prime example for such arrogant people gandhi a person who led an entire country he used to clean his own house there were two reasons for that number one he wanted to show to the world that cleaning my house is as important as leading the nation second thing he wanted to show that cleaning the house is not only the function of lower caste even an upper caste person must do it there were two reasons for cleaning the house a person why gandhi is so revered because he is a person who was such a tall leader but was never untouched was never touched by tyranny of merit or power he was a powerful person but he never allowed power to dictate him that's the biggest comparison uh, there was a harvard professor i saw his video he was making a comparison between hitler and gandhi he made a made a very beautiful comparison he said both were mass leaders both were highly popular in their time but the difference was hitler allowed power to corrupt him gandhi never did why gandhi used to go into that half naked theek hai why the reason is he wanted to show to the world you will not tell me what i can do because britishers were promoting that by having that coat pant is the style और हमारे साइल इधर वही पहनते थे गांधी वॉज लाइक नहीं आई विल वियर खादी एंड दैट टू द अमाउंट आई नीड आई विल नॉट फॉल फॉर मॉडर्निटी द मॉडर्निटी दैट प्रमोट कंज्यूमरिज्म आई थिंक सम क्लासेस माय मस्ट हैव टोल्ड यू मॉडर्निटी प्रमोट कंज्यूमरिज्म यू स्टार्ट बिकमिंग अ कंज्यूमर यू वांट द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट थिंग्स गांधी सेड नो नोबडी विल डिक्टेट मी व्हाट आई कैन डू सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम व्हेन यू बिलीव मेरिट इज सक्सेस सो यू स्टार्ट टू बिलीव सक्सेस इज मेरिट and then you if you get successful you have a condescending attitude towards the people who are not so like you are making excuses kaise nahi hote you must have worked hard you must clear upsc aisa nahi hota hai bhai 
Sometimes I know a lot of people who have worked, you cannot imagine the label hard, who have taken so many risks, who have left job, for example, at the age of 30, at some student who are older than me. I'm 30, they were 32. Take a last attempt. Those people have taken risk. They are working very hard, but there's no guarantee they will clear. Guarantee nahi hai. But nonetheless, they are working hard. So this is the problem. Do not compare merit with success. Hard work, everyone does. Some of the hard work becomes success. Some of the hard work do not become success. Take it clear to everyone. That's why he say a society that worships success, it creates a problem of condescending attitude towards the people who are not. And this leads to resentment. And this resentment has given birth to soft dictators. I told you what are soft dictators. People like Donald Trump. India, we will not name anyone. Okay. Victor Orban, Duterte, these are soft dictators. They are rising in power. They are coming to the elections and they are saying, I am from working class. Yeah, Donald Trump is a billionaire. Kahan se working class? But Sochi, people are so angry with this so-called successful people and their condescending attitude toward the poor that they are believing even a billionaire that he's a working class person. This is the problem. So what is the problem? And they, we are witnessing this problem in real life scenario. These dictators are coming in power around the world. Donald Trump, Victor Orban, Bolsonaro in Brazil, India, Chodo, and then <laughs> other places. These dictators are coming in power. They are making the common people believe that I am from you, but they only favor the rich. They only work for the rich people, but they make you believe that they are from you. And why you are believing them? When you are very broken. Even a person who is looking to take your advantage, not to up help you, but just to take your advantage. You even believe in that person. When you're too much broken, you can believe in a person who is there only to take your advantage, not to help you. This is the problem society is witnessing. And the reason is, so clear, eh? tyranny of merit. Please remember this theory. You can write this theory. I believe in GS paper one also, uh, society. Take a GS paper two, polity, governance, GS paper three also, internal security, why uh, people, riots and protests are increasing around the country. The reason is people are hurt. If you are, they are not successful, do not tell them you are an idiot. They worked hard. They could not get the success. That is what the video was about. Do not worship success, worship hard work. Clear everyone? Chali anyway. <clears throat> now, out of all this debate, now come to Bihar census. This background is clear to everyone. So Bihar census highlights that Bihar population has reached around 13 crore. It may also surpass India's population once upon a day because they have a too much total fertility rate. Bihar ko has to rein on total fertility. It is beyond three. Total fertility rate means uh, the average number of kids that a woman in her productive life is likely to born. And it is more than three for Bihar. It's too much. Two tak hona chahiye, or if the preferred prefer ratio is 2.1. All India level pe we have. This is all India level. All India level pe we have TFR, total fertility rate, less than required. So now India is getting older. This is the problem India is facing. India has only 30 to 40 years left to make advantage of its youth. Which is both a demographic dividend. The India's majority, young, you know, the median age in India is 29. 50% of India is younger than 29 or 29. So we have only 30 to 40 years left to take advantage of this extra energetic youth. If we are unable to take advantage, then these people will get old and then they will become liability. Something Japan is witnessing right now. This is, but at least China is also getting older, but at least Japan does not have a problem that we have unemployment. Understand this. Japan has older problem, but Japan does not have a problem. We may will have this demographic dividend will become demographic eco. We call it demographic dividend, the young youth population that you can take advantage by giving them better job, better opportunities, which you are not giving them. You're giving them government exam year after year without results. This is the problem clear everyone. And these people will get older. And if they do not get good jobs, good social security, then these people will become liability of the state itself. Abhi to aap young log hai, they can take care of themselves, but old people have to depend on something and you are not providing them good quality jobs. Then whom they will depend on? Sarkari schools, Sarkari hospitals, and then state will be in urban. Please remember this. We have to convert this. 
So anyway, TFR is 2.07. It's not a good news. It's a bad news at all India level. But some state have to reduce, particularly Bihar. It's a work three. Clear? Please remember this. So the population is around 13 crore. Out of this, 82 percent lagbhag is 82 bola galat rahega. 82 percent lagbhag is uh, Hindus, and around 17.72 is <coughs> Muslim. So there is a very minute minority. Except Muslim, everyone is very minor. Now, see how much it has become. 18, 82. So, there is no minority. So, there are very few there. So, the majority of the population of Bihar is Hindus and Muslims only. Let's see. Out of this OBC and extremely backward caste, you, you, Bihar has a tradition of calling backward, ultra backward, backward pro max. I don't know what they say. So, 63% of Bihar population is two OBCs and EBCs. 63% out of which EBCs are around 36 and uh, OBCs are around 27. Do not remember absolute figure, just remember general idea. Nobody will ask you absolute figure. Remember general idea if you have to make an argument in UPSC in interview or mains. Take a remember that. Schedule caste is around 20% roughly, ST is around 2% roughly. So this is the composition of Bihar <clears throat> and unreserved is around. 15.5, 16% you can say. So this is the composition of Bihar. So what are the likely consequences? The restructuring of reservation. That could be the biggest consequence out of this, the restructuring of reservation. But again, I will believe, I believe reservation is not the right, not the right mechanism. Make sure that reservation also reaches to the people. Ye nahi ho hai. Reservation will go away only when it reaches to the people, particularly in SC and ST. SC and ST may some caste who have used the reservation are using reservation again and again and again and again. Very good example is that Tina Dabi person. Uh, her mother, father, both were IS officer. Her grandfather was also in ISRO or whatever. So she come from a highly privileged family. She used a seat of SC. So she did not did anything wrong with the general people because she did not eat up a seat from general. She ate a seat from SC, a seed that could have gone to a person who really deserves it. This is the problem we have to take care. Uh, reservation, particularly for SCST, must have a creamy layer criteria so that a person who can use reservation once should not be allowed to use reservation again so that the remaining population can use reservation. So, reservation will be so, Economical, we can additional parameter, le sakte hai, but absolute. Nahi le sakte. Because up understand the philosophy of reservation in India. Reservation was initiated only for the people who were deprived historically. It has nothing to do with reservation ki philosophy is it was given to the people who were historically deprived of reservation. It has nothing to do with economic criteria. Though I agree, we can make a criteria, but caste must remain a criteria. So does women. We have given 33% reservation to them. The only criteria is gender. Understand this. A factor that disempowers you is the only factor that can empower you. If you have been deprived in the name of gender, then of course gender-based reservation will be there. Na? If you have been deprived in the name of caste, then only caste-based reservation will be there. First, remove this deprivation of gender and caste, then talk about equality. The so called, and I always say if you have never faced discrimination, so you are either male or upper caste. Because low, if you are lower caste, somebody will remind you you are from lower caste, even for a joke. And if you are a woman, then somebody will remind you that you have limitations. It will always happen. Only the upper caste male are the people who never face this problem. Nobody tell them you cannot do this, and nobody remind them that you belong from a particular. Caste to so remove casteism and sexism, then talk about equality. Clear? Chaliye. So, anyway, this was necessary because we need to know which caste has how much population. Along with this, we need to know one more thing how empowered they are. If I know that OBCs with these castes have achieved good status, we can remove them so that the remaining caste can be given reservation, but it requires political will. But, but uh, the uh, yeah, JDU, whatever party is this, what they have done is half baked cake. Having this is necessary, but it must have one step ahead. 
find out of these people whatever representation how many of them are empowered for example this 20% of scs look at which caste of these scs have achieved good status remove them from reservation so that the remaining can use the reservation isse kya hoga by after some generations there will be no caste which is above uh, which is deprived sabko samajh mara what we have to do this step nobody will implement बिल्कुल होता है जैसे मैंने का केस बताया बट सम कास्ट अगर रिजर्वेशन मैंने करवाया आई थिंक प्रीवियस करंट अफेयर्स में वी हैव डन दिस यस ऐसे हो जाएंगे बिकॉज़ अ पर्टिकुलर कास्ट फॉर एग्जांपल आई थिंक एससीज में मीनास आर द मोस्ट पावरफुल मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द रिजर्वेशन इज एप्रोप्रिएटेड बाय द मीनास द प्रॉब्लम इज देयर इज अ पर्टिकुलर कास्ट हु आर टेकिंग एडवांटेज ऑफ रिजर्वेशन जनरेशन आफ्टर जनरेशन तो आई एम नॉट सेइंग एवरीवन इन द कास्ट मे बी फॉर एग्जांपल 80% 80% of the people of that caste have used reservation already but the remaining caste they have used so much of reservation that the remaining caste are unable to use it in our abhi case is primarily an example of it so clear everyone it's a good first step we also need a second step find the people among these categories who have already uplifted around say for example 70% of the people if 70% of the people of that category within these categories have already used reservation or or already having this minimum standard of living that caste must be excluded otherwise it will never create a space for the remaining caste to take advantage and this is something i don't believe bihar will do because i told you the real purpose of this caste census is politics however academically necessary hai main deny nahi kar raha hu it is necessary academically but this is only first step clear everyone way forward you need extra step for this